This is the grade six math practice test for TN ready. Currently, question number 18. Select the value of R that makes the statement 8R equals 24 true. Now, a couple things to know here. First off, this is basically, an, this is an equation, basically an equation. It is an equation. That's what this equal sign means. Uh, and the second issue is that when you have a number and a, a, a variable touching, we refer to this number as a coefficient and this number and the variable is still variable but the relationship between those two when they're touching is multiply when they touch they multiply that's how that works so 8r equals 24. now in order to solve an equation if i'm going to solve it i'll use if i'll look to see what side of the equation the um, variable is on and it's on the left side currently i'm doing multiply if i want to get the r by itself to isolate the variable I need to do the opposite operation because that's what eliminates it. 8 times r, in order to get rid of that, I need to divide. And the reason is, think if you have th um, 3 times 5. Right? If I wanted to make it, so this would be 15. If I wanted to just eliminate the effects of this 5, I could just divide the whole thing by 5. So I'd divide by 5, and it would give me 3, right? So I'd get back to where I started. So I'd have this. So when I'm trying to isolate this 3 and it's being multiplied by this, I just divide it by the same thing. I'm trying to isolate this r, so instead of just keeping this times 8 here, I divide by 8. Those cancel, r is equal to 3. So my answer is here. Also, you don't even have to go through all that. If you remember that 8r means 8 times r, you can just test your answer choices, and they will. one of them will give you 24. This is a calculator section. You can use it if you want to. 8 times 1 third is going to give you 8 thirds, which is um, 2 and 2 thirds. That's not 24. 8 times 3 is 24. Yeah, good. 8 times 16 is way bigger than 24, and 8 times 32 is obviously bigger than that, so it's bigger than 24 as well. So it's the only reasonable answer choice. So you don't need to go through all this. Really, you just need to know that 8r means 8 times r, and then you need to figure out what r could be to equal 24.